So in my project, I chose the knee joint, which is composed of the quadriceps muscle, the knee joint, and then the patella bone. So for my, for my quadriceps, it's made up of four muscle groups, which is the rectus femoris, the vastus intermedius, the vastus lateralis, and the vastus medialis, and it connects onto the femur bone. So if I remove that, here's the knee joint. So you have the femur here, the tibia, and the fibula. You have the uh, lateral collateral ligament, so the LCL. And then you have the medial collateral ligament, the MCL. And then posteriorly, you have the PCL and the uh, ACL. So it's just like laterally right there. It's a little crisscross of cartilage there. <clears throat> so for knee, <clears throat> knee joint movement, the types of movement are flexion, extension, uh, external rotation, and internal rotation. And factors affecting range of motion <clears throat> include, uh, <clears throat> due to the shape of the medial femoral condyle, uh, the knee must screw home in order to fully extend. So approaching full extension, the tibia externally rotates approximately 10 degrees in order to achieve proper alignment of the tibial and femoral condyles. So in full extension, due to the close congruency of the articular surfaces, there is no appreciable rotation of the knee. During initial flexion from a fully extended position, the knee unlocks by the tibias rotating internally to a degree from its externally rotated position in order to achieve flexion. <clears throat>